My name is Joe Moran, I think I've encountered many of you, and welcome this evening. Um, I've really been a great pleasure to be invited to curate this evening's panel discussion by Katie Coe, who's running Summer Dancing Festival. And I run an organisation based in London called Dance Art Foundation, and one of our kind of central questions is looking at dance as a contemporary art form and asking what that might mean. And one of the ways that we're exploring that is um, looking at dance in relation to wider cultural life and other disciplines, including the visual arts. I've had this, this notion of a debate between different genres and the emergence of a movement called live art is something that's specific to Britain and some European countries. Um, like, um, in New York, in some sense, um, the downtown dancing in New York really still houses what remnants of a performance scene or live art scene there is. Yeah, what am I, am I a dancer, am I a live artist, how do I negotiate this? And, you know, I was, I don't, I know some of the scene, I have some sense of the scene now, but I remember arriving from training in Holland where Eva was one of my most influential teachers at the European Dance Development Centre, and looking at what was happening in dance in London and just being like, get me out of here, yeah. this is like frightening. Yeah. And then there was this kind of live art thing erupting and I was like, oh okay, these people kind of get, you know, some of the things that I want to do. And it was a context where I was able to get some support and feel like my work was understood. My name's Jessica Lerner and I'm, I've been invited to take part in the Herbert series which is um, uh, f curated by Florence Peake um, because I work with objects. The three artists we work with movement and objects together which is quite specific so I've been commissioned to make this work really. Well it's called the conception vessel. Um, I was um, wanting to um, make an internal space that reflected the body um, and particularly like the female body um, and sort of the idea, our idea of our bodies really, not a literal, uh, not a literal representation but more of an abstract representation that um, one would feel sp uh, intimate space and yet have quite a bit of space to move, not small space, you know, and then within that um, I plan to use a lot of the objects that I've been collecting over the f last few years and the, the gra uh, graphs I've been doing for four years of my temperatures. Um, it's all to do with the fact that I have been trying to get pregnant for about six years and um, had IVF and then I'm now pregnant. And I felt that, you know, I was finding things because I'm working with improvisation and I did like lots and lots of things. I, in fact, probably everything I didn't know I was going to do, uh, apart from how I was going to start with this thing on me. And then I found the skirt that I didn't realise I could use a skirt to highlight different places, <laughs> like to highlight my body in different places by the little gap in it. I didn't know that about that. That just happened then. I was pleased with that. Uh, 
One of the things that interests me in that approach is what is one's relationship to objects and spaces as a, as a mover? Um, and the idea that um, in everyday life we, we simply manipulate objects, don't we, on the whole, we, do, we tend to, you know, it's a book, we pick a book up, it's got a sort of, it's a servant of our, our own sort of human purpose. So what happens when there's not that hierarchy present? You know, in other words, the object has as much sort of right to be there as you have sort of thing. Can you, is there a way of, you know, without wanting to sound mystical, you can actually listen to the object and let it have a say in, in what happens. And then, as soon as one has that sort of attitude, all, what happens for me, I think, you too, is um, all your surroundings seem to come to life, you know, things seem to have a will of their own, and spaces come to life, you know, it's no longer just a sort of background, you know, that wall is no longer a background, it's, it's active in the performance. <laughs>